Before we do the intro, nobody can see you because you're actually camel. You're actually camouflaged. Yeah, I am. Are I you look like I'm going hunting. Okay. Are you ready to do the intro? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hi, and welcome back to Cooking with Josh. And Babe. And Babe. So today, we are going to show you, I'm feeling adventurous, babe. $40 piece of meat. Yeah. Here we go. So uh, we're gonna have one of our friends over later. It's the holiday season. We're feeling adventurous. And this is our take on a low and slow Weber Kettle prime rib. Reverse sear status. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Yeah, babe. Prime rib is so yummy. Let's just jump into it. Yeah. Do yeah. it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. All right. Here we go. Way up, way up we go. And here we have a big piece of beef. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's unwrap this thing and see what we got. Ooh. Let's just jump into it. Let's just take a gander at the marbling, shall we? All right, so this butcher twine, I'm gonna cut this right now, and we're gonna see what we got. And I'm gonna take these bones off because everything I've read, even though this is not the popular opinion, everything I've read is that the bones promote uneven cooking when you do a low and slow on the Weber kettle. So I think, well, you see, there's not that much bone though. Well, yeah, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna take it off right here and then we'll just have this big, nice roast of prime rib. So this is like, there's not that much meat in there, a little bit, but not, not a lot. It's a, a lot of bone. And then this is what we're left with right here. No bone. This is a choice cut. Okay, so we're gonna do the dry brine method, which isn't actually a thing because, babe, brining is not wet normally. But everybody on YouTube calls it dry brine. So basically what we're gonna do, it's the AM hours right now. We're not gonna cook this for what, eight or nine hours. So we're gonna salt it all up uh, with some coarse salt, and then we're gonna leave it on the cutting board, back in the refrigerator uncovered so the salt can really penetrate into the meat. Come on, salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker, babe. Okay, so before we cut the bone off, it was 5.5 pounds, and then you saw the little bone stuff I picked up. So now it's salted. Da -da -da. We're gonna leave just like this, put it in the refrigerator for probably eight hours. I should have done it last night, but oops. All right, we're outside at the good old Weber kettle at the pit here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna light some charcoal. I don't know, about 15 or so, my little lighter cube. I'm gonna take those pieces, put it on top. I'm gonna get those nice and hot. I'm gonna add in my secondary basket here at the time. And then we're gonna work it all together like that right there. Now my goal is to keep the pit at 225 degrees throughout the entire cook, which I'm guessing is gonna take approximately three hours. We'll fill both baskets full of charcoal and uh, we'll snuff it down a little bit. It, get it to 225 and add in a little hickory wood. Did you just clear your throat? <clears throat> What's that, babe? That's mistletoe. Now you have to come kiss me. <laughs> yeah, babe, a big smoocheroo. Right on the lippies. <laughs> no, babe, no. <laughs> All right, babe, I'm putting you to work. You gotta make the rub. Okay. So we're gonna put it on the screen, babe. Okay. We're gonna put it on the screen. First thing, ready? Two tablespoons ground black pepper. Is that two tablespoons full, babe? No, I believe that's like a half a tablespoon. <laughs> Keep grinding, babe. Not even a half. Yeah, we need two tablespoons ground black pepper. Then we can move on to the next thing. 2,000 years later. Oh yeah. All right, well, babe's grinding. Let's put this up on the screen. We got all the stuff. Okay, up on the screen. Right over babe's face. Here we go. Two tablespoons ground black pepper. Two teaspoons dried rosemary leaves. Two teaspoons dried thyme. One teaspoon garlic powder. One teaspoon onion powder. One teaspoon paprika. And a half a teaspoon, I think you should just do a whole teaspoon, of cayenne pepper. That mixed together in that bowl. Then we're gonna add olive oil and make it into a paste. And then you're gonna paint the beef, babe. Paint the beef. Okay. <laughs> two teaspoons dried rosemary, babe. Two teaspoons. A one, a two. Okay. And then two teaspoons of dried thyme. Two teaspoons later. 
Okay. One teaspoon of onion powder. Did I forget to get that out? Yeah. Whoopsie. Actually, no, I, I didn't because we, I wanted to use the sheepdog oh. garlic dog because this is just basically garlic. Um, it, this is onion powder and garlic. Okay. So I would do like, uh, since we're doing one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, I would do like two, a little bit over two teaspoons of that. There you go. So that takes care of our garlic powder and onion powder. Now one teaspoon of paprika. Not smoked paprika, regular paprika. Yeah, okay. I've read that it's supposed to be a half a teaspoon of cayenne. I don't know how hot and spicy you wanna get. How hot and spicy do you wanna get? I'll do one teaspoon. Woo! Okay. Now you're gonna put some olive oil in there and you're gonna make a paste. Okay. The motorcycle outside is messing up my audio while Babe's making a paste. Because then Babe's gonna paint the beef. I'm gonna paint the beef. How does it smell, babe? It smells delicious. Oh yeah, babe. That's what you didn't want to do, but I got you to do it. Mm -hmm. You always get me, babe. If this turns out awesome, babe. Mm -hmm. You can say thank you to me. Maybe I'll go under the mistletoe with you one more time. Will you actually kiss me or do I have to force you? <laughs> all right, it's gonna go back in the fridge until the kettle heats up all the way. Hi, babe. Hi. Are you grumpy? Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. All right, come in and take a look. So I filled it up like this, two pieces of hickory wood, drip pan, but I put some water in it to keep the moisture going. And then uh, we're gonna put the grate on and then we're gonna choke it down. 225 is what you want your kettle to be at. All right, we're at 102 inside the kettle right now. We need that to get up to 225 and we need this smoke to be uh, not as white. And then we'll be ready to put the prime rib on. All right. Literally, we just went YouTube live. If you guys caught the live chat, then you know what's going on. I'm gonna set it to private because nobody needs a repeat of that. But uh, the prime rib is, is definitely on the Weber kettle. And babe, it's got this hat. It says hashtag I'm offended. Babe was trying to give a shout out to all the, all, all the conservatives. Now you were trying to give a shout out to all the libs. Where are you at? <laughs> Give them a shout out. I'm making oh. fun of them with my hat. Oh, babe, we just had party poppers. What I'm making you, fun of them. What are you talking about? Because everything that happens, they're like, oh, I'm offended. We gotta, we gotta rotate the meat right, real fast. So okay. let's go out to the Weber kettle. Um, and let me show you the thermometer and everything. Move that, babe. Meat. I gotta move the meat. This is Christmas lights. Hood up, babe. Babe, the music stopped. I know what's going on. People, neighbors are going crazy. Here, let's hit them. Mode. I hear police. <laughs> you hear police. The meat's at 95, the kettle's at 247. I need like a tongs or something. You're a tong. I'm just moving it around. I was gonna flip it, but I'm not gonna flip it. I'm just gonna move it. Like I said, the meat is at 95 degrees and we're just gonna do that. I just flipped it 180 degrees and then we're gonna put the kettle lid back on. Good thing about barbecuing, um, long cook, slow and slow, different things like that. You have cigars, you can go YouTube live, have cocktails, spend the day with babe. It's good times. And we're at home, we're just enjoying a Saturday. So the prime ribs at about 100 degrees right now. The kettle's at 250. And yeah, it's it's going along it's going along pretty well. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully, hopefully we don't screw it up. But literally, this is an easy cook. So if you guys are watching this video and you're a little anxious about cooking a prime rib, especially since it's like a $40 piece of meat, you know, give it a try. I, a year ago, I would have never have thought that we would have done something like this. And as you can see, like all the videos through our channel and stuff like that, our cooking skills like go up and up and up and up and up just from watching other people on YouTube and, and different things like that. So anyways, Saturday night, here we go. Weber kettle. Pray the prime rib turns out good. Babe, stand, stand right there, babe. Okay, there we go. Babe, we went YouTube live for 73 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm setting it on private because if you're not subscribed to our channel and you don't know, then you don't get to see, and, and you nobody needs to see that. That was ridiculous. What, we're in real life. What are you talking about? 
talk. It was real life about marriage. About mar wait, marriage talk. Mm -hmm. Marriage talk with Josh and Babe while the prime rib is smoking. Yeah, we were just talking about how you don't want to get married and I do and- I didn't say that. And I'm gonna run away after I didn't January say that. 7th. I didn't say that. And you're gonna be single and maybe you could find somebody. Maybe you and Corey could get together. Cooking with Corey. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. All right, back to the primer. <laughs> Let's get back. back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Back to the prime rib. Not really. Babe, a lot of people in the Facebook group are like, we want to see the prime rib come off the pit. We want to see if you messed it up or not. I mean, what they really want to see is the prime rib. No, babe, they wanted to see, they wanted to see if we're, we gotta go pull it off the pit and do a reverse here. Why don't you go live again and let us see it? No, babe, no, they have to watch this video. They have to watch this video to get the, to get the goods. This is two and a half hours, 2.5 hours. Two and a half hours. All right, so I opened up the top and the bottom 100%. I pulled the beef off. The prime rib, it's at 125 right now. Look at this, come close, babe. Come close, come in a little bit, all right? Oh, so I'm gonna crazy. I'm gonna pull this probe out right now. I'm getting the coals nice and hot, and then we're gonna do the reverse sear. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's at 125 internal, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I'm bringing the coals up nice and nice and hot, and then we're gonna do the reverse sear. One minute, one minute, one minute, like four more minutes. We're gonna try and bring it up to 135, 140, and then we're gonna let it rest, and then we're gonna slice into it, so. Mm, uh, can't wait. It's at 125 right now. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. You might need to use your phone with the light, but the it? internal on the, on the 125, so it's time for a reverse here. Okay. Are you ready, babe? I am. All right, I'm grabbing this 5.5 pounds. Reverse sear time. Get in close. Yeah, babe, set a timer. One minute on each side. So probably it's gonna be another four minutes. Like one, 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 four minutes. It's gonna bring it up. We're gonna put it on the board. We're gonna let it rest. And uh, hopefully it'll come up to like 135, 140. And we are in the prime rib game. Mm. Where's Cindy? She's coming right now. Okay, here's the timer. Okay. I'm gonna go check on the potatoes. Babe's making the potatoes. There you go, babe. Okay, babe, we gotta tint it for 10 to 15 minutes. So it's 6.55, let's tint it for a little bit. Are you seriously gonna do this? Yeah, it's, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Okay, that's it. That's your whole part. All right, cool. You're done. All right. Say hi. Us too. Hello. That's it, that's your whole part. Okay, go ahead, babe. Do I cut it like this? No, you cut. Because it's more exciting if you yell. Yeah, I oh guess. boy. <laughs> right. Do you deliver? Yeah. Well, let's see. Oh, well, that's how it's supposed to be. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. I it was going that yeah, way. Yeah, I'm sure, babe. It's very, like. Yeah, I'm definitely sure. Oh. Oops. Floppy. Flo floppy? Come on, baby. Prime rib. Yeah, prime prime oh, rib that is perfect. Floppy. Perfect. Oh, that is perfect. What do you think about prime rib? I like it, but uh, yeah, it looks a little floppy. What? See? Yeah. What are you talking about? Look at that. That's Look at that. A little. All right. I Leave a comment it. below. I what are you talking about? That is prime. That is beautiful. I take it back. I get way too much fat. What? Oh, yeah. it all you guys are Dude. nuts. Dude. Nuts to butts. Way too much fat. What are you talking about? Look at this. Babe, that is a perfect medium. Yeah, we gotta throw some of it away though. What's it on a scale of? On a scale of one to awesome. <laughs> So she's like mediocre. Why are you walking away? Somewhere in between. Like without the fat, it's fine. But there is a lot of fat. I can't control the fat. I'm not the butcher. I control the temperature no, because agree. I'm the cooker. I agree. Yeah, like a nice pink, yeah. No, Give her a piece like that. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Juicy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, that was a three hour project. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, when you we're good then. With what? You had special. Hickory wood. Hickory wood. Yeah, hickory wood. Okay.
Look at this. Don't Look at this. Oh That's delicious. Oh, Babe, wow. I gotta tell you right now, this is delicious. It is good, babe. I'm really proud of you. I'm telling you right now, I, I'll call you later. I'll call you later, babe. That is the best sign yeah. I've ever seen. We went YouTube live tonight and yeah. Uh, what do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. I've never had oh, yeah. smoked tri-tip mm. or smoked um, prime rib. Have you? Holy moly. minutes into it, can I get your honest review? It's not five, I mean it's like 10 or 15, but yeah, it's really good, babe. You did great. You did a fantastic job. That's nice looking job. gravy, did you make that? You're on the record. Oh my gosh, on the record, San Fernando, yeah. Tack Lighter, yeah. Greenberg style, uh -huh. I told you it was good. Okay. That's really good, babe. Hey, do I have anything on my teeth? No, you're good. Okay, mm. just checking. You're code for. It's it is a really good dinner. Yeah. It's different. Well, okay. you do need a vegetable, but it was good, babe. Okay. You did great. Thank you. I'm you know what? You. She's gonna let you do it again. Mm -hmm. sure? I will. I'm never doing it again. I didn't. I didn't get met with the rave reviews, but now later into the into the evening, you're like, oh, this is pretty good, babe. I'm so tired. Well, I mean, you've been sleeping. I've been sleeping. <laughs> yeah, you have. Anyways, guys, try and make that prime rib. Yeah, it was good. It must be nice to be a man and not have to wear makeup and always look good. Yeah, it's the next morning. That must be nice. We had too much fun last night. We forgot to film the end of the video. But you did see the prime rib. I thought that I should have pulled it off a, a couple minutes before. No, I cut the prime rib and it was still jiggly. Jiggly wiggly. It was perfect. It was perfectly medium rare. And I didn't burn it. No. Nope. Tell the folks I didn't burn it. Because I always it? get accused when I do reverse sears of burning it. No, there was no burning. It was fantastic. Everybody my, seemed to like it. My mashed potatoes were. And then your mashed potatoes were a big hit. Really good. Yeah. Really, really good. That was a really good dinner. Mm -hmm. And we had and a lot of we'll have leftovers with And we had friends. a lot of fun with friends. Anyways, if you guys want to leave a comment, this is my very first uh, prime rib on the Weber Kettle. Kettle. This was my very first prime rib on the Weber kettle ever and so I'd like to hear your feedback if there was a different way I should have cooked it or maybe something else I should have tried or something like that because I would like to do another one again. I, I do like prime rib. Uh, really they're just a little pricey. That was like a $40 piece of meat. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and you know all the good stuff like and subscribe and blah 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 until the next video babe. Thanks for watching. See you guys.